What's up, fellow gym rats? It's been a few days. Uh, I got another video that's going to go on the front of this one, but I wanted to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope everyone's Christmas was filled with some magic and, and, and maybe a little bit of mayhem and chaos. three-year-old who turns four next month he had a blast this is the first year that he actually kind of figured things out a little bit with Santa and how to tear in gifts and everything so it was a lot of fun for him my one and a half year old <laughs> yeah, she just wanted to sleep but uh, eventually she got up and started playing with her brother's toys instead of hers you know that's how it goes um, anyways I'm heading to the gym I'm gonna be doing some chest workout and uh, and I guess my wife has company coming over after that a little bit later this afternoon or early noon or whatever. So I might drag out the gym session a little bit longer than needed because, yeah, I'm a ball humbug today. I just kind of wanted to take the day to recover since I am going into the office tomorrow. Um, anyways, hope everyone had a great Christmas and has enjoyed this program. And uh, I know we're ending down, wrapping down phase one of uh, big... Um, but uh, it's great. I'm heading over to lean phase one after this as a transition. And I'll probably stay, based on what I've read and the talks and chats I've had with a few people in the program, uh, the powers that be, I will probably stay with lean for at least two phases. Um, probably all the way through just so I, I get to where I want to be. I don't, I'm, you know, I don't want to be a <laughs> bodybuilder, huge ripped and everything. I just like to be a nice 41 and cut uh be able to have six packs and, and and everything else that's the goal of my you know the hardest thing again as i said in the video that i posted before this one is you get a lot of people who say hey you're good where you're at now why do you keep going why do you keep pushing well it's all about goals and the mental man uh, mental fortitude that goes along with that and I, I got to the point in my life where if i set a goal that goal is going to be accomplished no matter what and it might take me uh, three months, six months, a year or longer to get to certain certain goals that I set. I set milestones and uh, short term and long term. Uh, you, you've got to do it to be successful. You got to do it to get ahead. Uh, I don't want to be 70 years old and still working for somebody. I got goals to be able to be retired by the time I'm 50, 55 and uh, I'm working hard for that and then I, I want to be able to enjoy life so my body's got to go there with it, be functional and mobile and uh, everything. Uh, my wife did tell me I need to schedule an appointment with the doctor. She reminds me every six months, because both of my parents died from obesity, weight issues, heart issues, uh, cancer, and all that good stuff. Most of it was brought on by poor eating and poor health. And since I led, let myself go for about, I don't know, eight years, um, she's worried about all the buildup. And then with Carrie Fisher going to the hospital for a heart attack, and then... Um, Michael's dying yesterday at the age of 53. She's just like, all right, go get your heart and everything checked again. So I get to go make those appointments this week and, and get that all up. It'll be interesting to see how they compare to where they were six months ago or, I guess, nine months ago. Uh, but I, I'm betting I'm laying odds nine to one. They're in a lot better shape because my, 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 my body fat's down. My heart rate's more steady and more consistent. Uh, I guess in uh, no explode non-stimulant. More often, uh, I'd say the last three weeks is what I've been using it for. Uh, on the days that I'm really dragging and really tired, then I'll, I'll put in. A, I'll use the stimulant one uh, just for a little change up. Uh, but I'm, I'm trying to get away from the stimulant workouts, uh, except for on the super heavy weeks, and then I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and do that. But um, yeah, everything in, in moderation, and uh, except for the gym. The gym can, you know, <laughs> every day but Sunday. I'm cool with that. Uh, anyways, I did, again, hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and uh, is looking forward to the New Year's and, and, and prepping for that. Um, again, shout out to everybody, and uh, I'll talk to you all later. An absolutely badass workout. Ended up, uh, you know, it was heavy chest day, you know, four by twos, and then blocks and up. Anyways, there's a guy in there named Raymond. Pretty ripped dude, and you can tell he was in there. I was getting ready to do my last set of four, or my last set of two, and uh, I, I felt, you know, I was gonna need a spot. I wanted to go more than just the two reps, and I had, uh, I think I punched all the way up to 285, 
And uh, so I went over and asked him if he'd spot me, and I told him I was doing, showed him the workout. He's like, yeah, man, I'll spot you through this one in the next two sets on the block. You got 285 on there, and he's like, Bap, you got to know, I'm not going to let you stop at that number. You're going to stop until you're dead. I freaking ripped out uh, seven solid at 285, and then three more uh, reps with, uh, two more reps with a little bit of assistance getting, getting the lockout, and the third one probably helped quite a bit, probably like 20% help, but man, my chest was on fire afterwards, and so I took a three minute rest, loaded up, uh, we went ahead and put, since I had a spotter, I loaded up uh, 310 for the first block, did uh, five of those with him, and then we pushed it up to three, uh, 330, and did I did three of those, two unassisted, and then one definitely assisted, but whole hell, what a freaking workout, having a good uh, spotter and gym buddy actually made all the difference in the world. Uh, it makes me regret not being able to have found one. I'm still looking and still trying. Uh, I've gone through four of them so far. They just can't keep up with me uh, or the program. Uh, or they just they, they just don't take it serious. And if I'm in the gym and I'm doing my thing, I'm not in there to BS. I want to get the time in, get it done, and get out. Because, heck, I got a life and things to get done and get to. So, anyways, I just wanted to take a short video. Chill. Shout out to the guy at the gym named Ray. What's going on, everybody? Um, been a while since I did a vlog or an update to let everyone know what's going on. I'd filmed this previously in my truck, but uh, camera was a little shaky and everything, so I'm going to remake it so you don't get seasick watching me. But I wanted to go over a few of the things that kind of kind of got me down in the program. Um, luckily, I had uh, Alan Bishop there was able to get me through it because um, I, I, I felt some frustration. Uh, last week when I had taken my uh, update pictures to send in to Tyler and to him, and it was, it was a little bit down, I um, was taking the photos uh, aesthetically, uh, looks and, and everything. I hadn't noticed a lot of change to my eye um, over the four weeks from the, the last time I took the photos, and um, it, was, it was kind of frustrating. I um, felt really fat, uh, bloated, uh, whatever you wanted to be, and, and it was a bit, um, it was being really critical on some of the things. Um, my wife was really awesome about it, and she was pointing out, she said there are changes, uh, and they weren't noticeable to me, but they were to her. My, my back had gotten bigger. Uh, she, she was just amazed about how much width I'd gained on that one in thickness. Um, she thought the chest look, looked bigger and she could see the definition up here more on the chest. It was more pronounced, um, and that my legs were getting skinnier, but, um, you know, that's your wife and you're expecting that from, from them to say that. So I went ahead, get the pictures, put them together and, um, sent them over to Alan and to Tyler for the update. And, you know, I did in the email explain I was a little frustrated and you know uh, oh, and everything goes with it and Alan did something that I was not expecting he, he blew me away he took time took my previous pictures from four weeks earlier uh, and, and put them side by side and, and pointed out the differences with a marker and showed me where the improvement had been made and after he did that it, it made a definite improvement on my mindset um, and helped get rid of some of the frustration that I was feeling. Now, I'm still frustrated, but that's more at me because I let my body go for so long. And um, I have to deal with it, and I know it's a process, and it's going to take me a long time to get there. Uh, and that's, that's what, what setting goals are all about, and remembering that this program isn't, isn't a 12-week miracle. It's four phases of 12 weeks. It's a year. It's a transformation. Uh, and there are going to be people like me that start at it, and then it's going to take a whole year to get to where we want to um, physically be or um, get to appearance wise uh, and there might be others that you know they join in and they're a lot further uh, along don't need as much or some that are farther away um, from it and we just have to remember it's two steps forward one step back uh, but we're always going to make progress and then always learn we always have the ability to learn from 
from what's going on because we're not going to be perfect. And I'm looking at notes. Um, I, I keep a journal and a thought journal, a weight journal, a progress journal, a food journal. I mean, that sounds like a lot of work. But um, after letting myself go for eight years and having had both of my parents die um, from things brought on from obesity, my mom, um, severe obesity led to congestive heart failure um, and some other body issues and that ended up leading to a stroke uh, that ultimately uh, took her life. And then my dad, he ended up uh, with stage four colon cancer um, as a result of bad eating and, and, and obesity and I don't want that in my life. Um, so I, I really, I have to, I, I'm pretty thorough about it. You know, my dad died three days before my son was born. That was my wake up call to getting things going. And if you've seen previous posts, I spent a year learning and then engaging and I'm, I've lost 120 pounds. I'm not going back. Uh, so I, I, I record everything and it helps. That's just my, 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 uh, process. But, um, I, I, I was reminded, you know, it by Alan no, I'm a man crush on him. I just think the dude's an outstanding coach. Um, that it takes time. And I've made great work and I've got good progress. My strengths are up phenomenally. I could, can't believe the things that I'm doing at 40. Uh, I never would have thought I could have done at 40. Um, but I am, so that gives me an even better mindset of what I'm going to be capable of at, at, at 50 and at 60 or even more. I need to be functional, I need to be mobile. I don't want to be working until I'm 70 years old. I, I have goals to try and retire until I'm at 55. Well, 56 is when my daughter's going to graduate from high school uh, and then be able to take my family and do things uh, and still have a, a pretty significant life. And the only way we're going to have fun is if I can actually move. So that's one of the reasons I really like this program. I really like the fact that we're going to switch over to lean. Uh, I'm understanding now is that I'll probably switch over to lean phase two, not phase one, just to continue with where I'm at. Uh, we'll, we'll see when that happens. Uh, I'll know more. I guess on the 9th of January after we get this all straightened out um, from Tyler and them. Um, anyways, I, I do have a lot of respect for the program uh, and what it's done for me so far. Um, there's only been one other program that's kind of helped me get through this process. Uh, again, I, I can't give it, I can't not give a shout out to uh, Scott Herman. Uh, whose 12 week challenge in January this year helped me really start getting back uh, to where I needed to be. Uh, I had lost the 90 pounds by dieting until then and then I started getting to where I needed to be strength wise and that brought me to conditioning where I can actually do a big program and it's, it's going really great. I, I, I've started a blog, um, getfit40.net just to keep all my notes out there, progress and everything, share with friends and family that might need some inspiration uh, to show people that it can get done uh, and there's no reason we can't do it. Uh, if I can do it, then yeah. I do want to take a second to comment on something. And two videos ago, somebody sent me a message about the hat. Uh, they, they asked me why I was wearing it. If it's signed by Steve, why, why are you wearing the hat? Because uh, I, I like the hat. It looks good. Uh, gingers don't find very many hats that look good on us. We're soulless and, and everything else. Um, so when I find a hat that looks good on me, I wear it. You can ask Shaggy. Uh, Scooby doesn't think he can find a hat that looks good on him either. So uh, I, I wear it for that reason. Uh, not to mention it's the last set, best set. It reminds me to do no matter what. I can wear them at work. Um, it reminds me to do my best all the time uh, in, in, in everything that I do, not just in the gym. And then when I look up and I see this, Steve Cook reminds me I'm lucky I was able to get the hat and I'm lucky in all my life I'm, I'm lucky to be where I am to have a home to have my family and be able to do the things I can so it means more than just a hat it, it sounds cheesy but that's what it is it reminds me just to do my utmost best at everything that I can and that I am lucky and not to take life for granted um anyways I've got a couple other videos I've done uh from today uh to to get through uh, that I'll put into here but uh, I just wanted to give an update and, and let you guys know if you get frustrated uh, it's gonna happen we all gonna have our moments down uh, and depression uh, that we have to deal with from our, our uh, lack of gains or progression in the gym or even in life just remember you take it a step day at a time 
take it in stride and uh, we're our own worst critics and our own worst uh, enemies in this front. So never lose faith in yourself. Keep moving forward. And if any of you are all struggling, um, talk to your friends, talk to your family. Hey, give me a shout. I'm not an expert or anything, but I'd be more than happy to talk. Uh, and, 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 you know, through this program, I've got, I do have a couple of friends that I've been lucky enough to uh, start engaging in, in, in physical fitness talks with and they move in their gym and they're doing stuff and they're and they're and they're getting up and going and i hope and pray that my example can help my family um take it to that next level and get them in there i i love my family very much and i worry that sometimes i might say something to be hard on them uh but it's just me and my two brothers and their 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 health worries me and i just hope that i can help inspire and and, and lead in that way. Anyways, I'm going to tie this into a couple more videos and get it posted up to Facebook.